Hey, how's it going? Jason Smith here. I was just uh, wanting to shoot you a quick video. Um, I'm down here with my chickens. It's kind of raining today. Some of them, the other chickens that got out, they're wondering what I'm getting ready to do. So uh, we just got through um, taking some pears that we pulled off pear trees and we're dehydrating them. So we just put them in a dehydrator. So I had a, had a whole lot of chicken scraps that I was gonna throw down here to the chickens. So I just wanna give you a little bit of a, a day in the life of, of me homesteading and uh, raise, raising some of our own food and just having fun around here. Uh, so it's kind of raining today, but uh, we're taking some breaks and just having some fun and just kind of playing. So watch what these chickens do whenever I throw these scraps down. It's pretty crazy. Those will be gone in about 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, every bit of that will be gone. I'm going to go gather some eggs. Only one egg. Chickens better get to work. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you uh, take you down and look at some microgreens and then we're gonna go to the greenhouse and plant some stuff for fall cool season crops hey how's it going I'm back up here now with uh, I just got through feeding the chickens we took uh, we took some scraps down cuz we uh, we were harvesting a whole bunch of pears and we cut those pears up off of pear trees and we're, we got those in a dehydrator and we had a whole bunch of scrap that I took down to the chickens. And so uh, I took them down there and let the chickens kind of kind of eat on that stuff and just give the chickens something to play with and do uh, because it's just scraps. It's stuff that we were cutting off, bad spots on pears. But I wanted to come up here right now and show you that um, I'm, I've got some microgreens started and these are, uh, these are gonna be for me. Uh, a couple years ago, we were growing microgreens. Obviously, COVID had a huge impact on us out here. Uh, we were selling stuff to some restaurants, and it just kind of went away pretty quick. But, you know, it's kind of a passion of mine to do this, to, to grow stuff and to grow fa uh, food for my family. So uh, I was going to give you a, a quick update. We got some stuff growing here. Uh, let me kind of turn the camera around. All right, yeah, so here you go. Uh, we got... Some microgreens I got started. I started these about three days ago. And so what I do is uh, these are sunflower shoots. So it's just sunflower seed. And uh, and then I've got pea shoots down here. These are, uh, it's just peas. It's a dwarf pea. And it's specifically for growing microgreens. And they get about, I don't know, three inches tall. And then once they get about three inches tall, you can you can harvest them. And the same with these. In about a, probably five to six days, these will be ready. These are just sunflower shoots. Uh, they are very nutritious. They're very yummy. They're good for salad, and we like to eat them. So um, they just taste really good, and they're easy to grow. Very easy to grow. You don't need a big greenhouse to grow these. You can grow these in a window seal in a smaller smaller tray. Uh, but we've been growing them for years now, and we love them. They taste really good. They're a good snack for kids, and like I said, they're very nutritious. Sunflower shoots and pea shoots and they're really good on your salad and like I said they're really good for a snack and I wanted to show you too we've got some uh, starts so we've started some vegetables up here these are cool season crops that we're gonna be putting in our greenhouse in a couple of weeks they're not quite ready to go in the ground yet but these are uh, we just got some cabbage broccoli uh, romaine lettuce and these are cool season crops this is stuff I'm actually gonna grow through the winter in an unheated greenhouse. And that's the key to it right there is the greenhouse is unheated. It's not something that uh, there's no heat at all. So I don't control the climate in there or anything. So back to it, I love growing stuff in, a, in an unheated greenhouse. 
especially cool season crops. The reason I do it is because I don't have to deal with weeds, I don't have to deal with bugs, and it's just really easy to grow stuff. Uh, I, I actually don't even have to water because the water that comes off the side of the greenhouse gets absorbed into the ground, into the green, uh, uh, for the greenhouse. And so I may have to water a little bit, but not very much. So I love growing cool season crops. Uh, it's so much fun and it's so rewarding. And there's a whole list of cool season crops out there that you can grow. Uh, tons and tons and tons of, of cool season crops. Uh, farmers were doing it many years ago, so it's not like it's just anything new. Uh, I've been doing it for thousands of years. Uh, you just got to figure out what you like to eat, uh, learn how to grow it, plant it, and grow a lot of it, and eat a lot of it. And I promise it's going to be healthy. So, But anyhow, uh, just wanted to let you know, that's kind of an update. Get ready to go down to the big greenhouse and start planting some stuff, uh, like loose leaf, like lettuces, uh, arugula, and maybe some hackerai turnips, and radishes, and some cool stuff. So, thanks so much.